It's walking blues. We're in the key of G. A string tuned down to a G, a D string tuned normal to D, and a third string tuned normal to G. G, D, G. Let's get right to it. So I'm using my fingers. You can use a pick if you like. Fingers give you a little bit more flexibility in my opinion, but if you prefer a pick, that's cool too. So what we're going to be doing here is walking blues which gives you a bass line and the chord at the same time. So what you're doing is using your thumbs pretty much sort of kind of for the bass and your first finger for the guitar. And y'all are, what? How, how can you play a bass and with one thumb and a guitar with one finger on the same guitar at the same time, Jag? Just like this. <laughs> I'm doing a walking shuffle pattern, sort of a boogie woogie. And what you're doing is just walking up with the bass notes. And you're using an up strum for the chord. The chord is really just all three strings. And the bass note is just your big string. So first thing you want to get going is your thumb and first finger alternating. I'm anchoring my finger on the guitar. You don't have to. I use my third finger to anchor. But you can do it like this without anchoring. And this is the basic idea. You've got a down stroke with your thumb and an up stroke with your first finger. And sometimes you'll be playing the middle string with your first finger, and sometimes you'll be playing the first string with your first finger, and sometimes you'll be playing both of those. So here's an example of both of those. So I'm doing a down strum on the bass string doing an up strum on the top two strings. So that's the basic strum pattern. Now we add the walking pattern. So let me back up here just a minute. So you heard me go... That's not really the shuffle we're going to be playing. That's the idea is down strum, up strum, down strum, up strum. But the walking pattern is more like. So it's bum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba bum ba dum 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 So what I'm doing is a downstroke on the big string and an upstroke on all three. Now I'm just using my second finger on that third string, third fret, and I'm going to use the second string open with my thumb. And you got to walk up to two, to three, back to two, back to zero. And that's your walking blue. the bass pattern and you're playing the chord in between each bass note so these are the bass notes quote unquote bass notes and here's the guitar chords quote unquote it's all three strings or just these two or just the first one or just the second one which is not really a chord you got to have two notes to be a chord but anyway so notice how it's boom ba dum ba dum ba dum ba. It's not. You're putting that up strum in to make it more funky. So I'm using my thumb and first finger. or my third finger. Now, that's the G chord right there, that whole thing. That's the one chord or the G chord with a walking bass pattern. You're playing bass and guitar at the same time, folks. There's your bass line, 
and here's your guitar. It's like one guy sitting next to you going, and the other guy doing. All right, so now we're gonna go up to the four chord, which is in the key of G, C, correct. So we're gonna be barring on the fifth fret, G, A, B, C. So we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna bar all the way across. doing the same walking pattern. So my thumb is playing the third string and second string and my first finger is playing the first string. So when I strum that, I'm only getting that one string because there's only three strings on the whole guitar, right? So you can play the second string when you're strumming with your first finger. I am not pressing down. It looks like it is, but my second finger just curls underneath automatically. When I play this note, which is my third finger, you can see my second finger kind of curls down in there, but I'm not pressing anything down. All right, so that's your C chord walking pattern. It's the one, four, five chord progression. So here's your one, doing the whole thing, walking pattern on the G. If you're sitting here playing with other people, they could just bash out some G chords on the piano or bash out some G chords on the guitar or whatever. And you're playing the chord and the bass at the same time. Now we bar up here like I did a minute ago. That's your C chord and I'm doing the entire walking bass pattern on the C. We go up two more and what do we have? The D chord, same thing. I'm doing the same pattern, barring on the seventh fret gives me a D chord. And if I play these individual patterns, that's your walking blues. You can put some turnarounds in there. Super common. First finger is on two, three, walk it down, and I'm playing the thumb on the second string and the first finger on the first string. five to the six to the seven. I'm only using one finger here. So that's a simple walk up to your five chord called the turnaround. So I might play this. Just starting out the boogie woogie. Now I'm going to go to the four chord, which is what? C, correct. So I'm going to bar on the fifth fret. And I can play that one or two times, three times, four times, whatever. Then we go back to the one, which is G. And to the five, which is D, correct. Back to the four. takes you to the five so no matter what chord progression you're playing no matter what rhythm you're playing you can still use that chord progression and go up to the five so this is a walking bass pattern so this takes you to the five got to go to the four first right back to the one now here's the five four one now it takes us to the five start all over again. G, C, D for the key of G. If you're in A, it's going to be A, D, E, etc. E is going to be E, A, B. So you might have to tune your C, B, G different for those. But that's a simple beginner's walking blues. Now you can also do a straight shuffle. walk 
up to the four. I can do one note there. I can do the whole chord if I want. Now I'm shuffling that C chord. Using my first finger to bar and my pinky two frets up. Now here's the five chord, which is what? E, correct. Turn around. That turn around it walks you down. And then it takes you back up to the five chord. That's the turn around. Some blue songs don't have a turn around, and some do. There's just all sorts of different permutations on that. But that should get you going. Thanks for watching. Check out my website, jagshouse.com. Cigar box guitars just like this one. You can buy them right there. Been doing it since 2004, over 4,000 sold. Please subscribe. Wait, did I say that? I can never remember if I've already said that. Anyway, see you next time.